Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's just me this morning. Ran out of time this weekend, so we didn't get a chance to do everything we wanted to, including videos. Um, I want to thank Jerry Jones for sending me the link to this midweek meeting. And uh, there's a few clips here. Um, I am going to put a link to Jerry Jones' channel down below because he's going to be doing some more videos about this particular meeting. But I just wanted to do just this quick clip. Um, this is disturbing because I feel so sorry for kids, you know, being raised one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I know what it's like to have that fear instilled inside of you, you know, I'm one of the pre-1975 kids, and I can remember my parents could not get me to go to school because I was afraid Armageddon was coming in 1975, so it was actually a real problem because, you know, I had to get beat just to go to school. Um, and I see the same thing going on now. You know, if the kids do not pay attention at the meetings, they're going to be so afraid that if they don't, they are going to be destroyed by Jehovah at Armageddon. And this is such a psychological, spiritual abuse on poor kids. And so, um, and then the after the video, the Caleb and Sophia video, um, he is talking to some kids that are at their congregation. And I've edited out the names and stuff to protect the innocent kids. Um, but I just want to show how, you know, how psychologically damaging this is to kids. You know, like I said, even now I have nightmares about Armageddon. And it's just very difficult to, you know, get rid of that trauma that they are instilling in kids and I can personally vouch that this is what happens and anybody you talk to who was raised a Jehovah Witness as a young child same thing you know just fear of Armageddon you know bad storm would come you would think Armageddon was coming you know the Vietnam War was going on um, when I was a kid and we always thought that was going to lead into Armageddon and uh, so anyway very sad so you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And uh, Bonnie, thank you for the donation. I'm sorry I forgot to thank you earlier. Um, but thank you so much, everybody, for your love and support. And uh, we love you. Bye. About the importance of the direction that we receive here at the meetings. Our uh, Treasures from God's Word highlighted that Jehovah's people are given instructions and training. And that's primarily right here in this Kingdom Hall. Well, tonight we're going to watch uh, a short video of uh, Caleb and Sophia, and we're going to enjoy uh, how they will learn a little bit more about paying attention at the meeting. So let's uh, have the video. So we'll listen together to our first subheading, Spiritual Restoration, Why It Matters. Let's have the reading of paragraph nine. Consider the historical perspective. Christians back in the first century enjoyed many spiritual blessings. Jesus and the apostles foretold that true worship would be corrupted and lost. So kids, what did you learn at meeting tonight? No sleeping at the meeting. And no playing at the meeting. Good. Why should we pay attention at the meetings? Imagine if Noah didn't pay attention when Jehovah explained how to build the ark. That's not what happened, Dad. You are right. He paid attention and it saved his life. Paying attention at the meetings can help save your life. At Genesis 6.22, we read, And Noah did according to all that God had commanded him. He did just so. Okay. Well, that was uh, quick, wasn't it? So let's have our um, panelists come up here. We have our own uh, version of Caleb and Sophia here. And just by coincidence, their initials start with C and S. Now we're going to ask you guys some questions about uh, what you learned about this video. So the first question is, what could cause you not to pay attention to the meeting? So we'll let uh, Sydney go first. 
we need to avoid distractions like playing at the meeting and sleeping at the meetings. Okay. Well, what do you think about that, uh, um, Cameron? Not getting enough sleep. Yep. That could do that, couldn't it? Start nodding off. What might have happened if Noah had not paid attention when Jehovah explained to him how to build the ark? If Noah and his family did not pay attention to Jehovah's instructions, they would have lost their lives. What do you think, Cameron? Um, he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't have survived the flood. Yeah, and I, this isn't one of the questions on here. Um, I'll throw you all a little curveball here. What were some of the things that they were doing uh, when they weren't paying attention to Noah and his family? Did you catch some of those little things that they were, instead of listening to what Jehovah said? Well, um... The child was playing with um, their games. Yeah. One was sleeping. Yeah. So one of them had a little uh, phone out or something like that. So those are things that can happen. All right. Now, the, the last question, why is it important for children to pay attention at the meetings? Like Noah, like Noah, we need to follow his example by listening to Jehovah, because if we don't listen to him, it might mean our life. Yes. Cameron? It is important because we can miss life-saving information from Jehovah. Very good. So I, I think you two are fine examples, uh, as many in our congregation are, and we appreciate your comments tonight. So at one point in Jesus' earthly ministry, he said to pay attention to how you listen. And uh, that certainly is applicable for uh, all of us, not just the young ones, but that we can all learn from that video and uh, pay attention at the meetings and uh, we'll be blessed for that.